Hello class and professor. I am so sorry for this late video post, but I have been really busy this past week and I've been having some problems, but I'm doing it now. But this week I will be talking about how Jesus once was tempted as we were and how we can handle it ourselves through Christ and God. Um, the first part that I found was that um, in the article, The Temptation of Jesus and How He Was Tempted, there was different um, times that he was uh, tempted, but a few of them were described and written in uh, sources that could be found in uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and even Hebrews. But the first uh, temptations that occurred to him were in the desert. Uh, once he started his ministry, um, he had been wandering the desert for 40 days and 40 nights, which is a very long time, especially, you know, back then there was no calendars, no anything like that to indicate time, stuff like that. So it was a long pro period with no food, no water and stuff like that. And Satan saw this and he started to tempt him. First one was asking if he was truly the Messiah or not. And to find out if he was, in which, you know, he responded that he was to him. The second and other ones that had followed afterwards was the first one was to turn um, a piece of stone into bread, which he replied that man does not live on bread alone but is filled with the glory of God and that he will provide for them. The second one would be um, where he is tempted by um, being taken up to the top of the hills where um, Satan promises him it, all the kingdoms of the world if he follows him, which, you know, you he replied to, you serve God alone and only him. And the third one was he takes him to the temple, uh, to the top of the temple and tells him to fly down. And that if he is truly God's chosen, that he was command his angels to rise you up and you will not strike your foot against the stones. Which Jesus replies to him, you shall not tempt your Lord God Almighty. But. We can look at how Jesus was tempted and how it can help us because it shows that, yes, Jesus is God and man in one and that we can avoid temptations as well, which there's two verses that I looked at that helps with temptation that we can have. The first one is Hebrews 218 which is because he himself star not star suffered when he was tempted he is able to help those who are also being tempted mm -hmm. the second one is james 1 13 which is tempt no one should be uh said that god is tempting me to do this for god cannot be tempted by evil or does he not tempt anyone so a lot of times people say oh god will tempt me to do this or that or god tempted me to do these drugs and stuff which is not the case we all have the choice to be tempted and to fall into those temptations which can be anything but if we follow him and decide to not to give in to those temptations that uh, Satan obviously uh, gives us all the time, then we're going to be okay. Because God will always provide for us, regardless of what we are tempted with. So, thank you for this discussion post. And I will look forward to seeing your guys' responses. And again, I'm sorry for the late uh, post. See you guys next time. Bye.